Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and here I am in a very very breezy Blackpool. I'm on the promenade. It's Sunday the 20th of December, the day before the solstice and also the day before the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, the closest that they will get together in the sky. Uh, now we're going to be clouded out unfortunately tomorrow so I've come out tonight to see if I can get some more images and video of the two planets very close together um, so if you saw my last video I did pretty well from the car park but this time I've, I've, uh, I've come out a bit further I've managed to get the star bus fixed which is good um, now it's not going to be easy because uh, it's a bit windy yeah <laughs> I was a bit more protected in the car park actually but um, I thought no I'm gonna to have to come down to the promenade because uh, I just think it's a better place to be and we'll just have to pull up with the wind yeah it's really wild and windy out there the tides right in it's looking really rough we're looking down here now on middle and lower walk on North Promenade Blackpool so I'm about half a mile north of the tower and out that way somewhere where the sun set is where the two planets will hopefully hopefully show up that they should be um, so they should be above that cloud around about now but I can't see them just at the moment but uh, they have come out a bit earlier tonight and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see them a bit earlier and it'll give us chance to get some uh, hopefully better video of them and, and better pictures I'm gonna be putting the telescope on them this time now it's going to get blown around a bit but uh, hopefully we might be able to get a little bit more detail on might just be able to get the rings of Saturn well, but we're going to have to try we're going to have to try aren't we eh? that's the best we can do but that wind is really coming straight up yeah the wind is absolutely mental hey look uh, they've got the illuminations on as well look, got the illuminations on as well if you saw my last video you'll have seen that uh, yeah so I'm north this time like I say, I'm about half a mile north of the tower. I'm close to where the Grand Hotel is here. And uh, yeah, so I'm just waiting for the two planets to come out. Just waiting for it to get dark enough for the two planets to go, come out. And then I'll bring the telescope down and set that up. I've just spotted them, I've just spotted them. They're in this cloud, they're in the cloud here. Around about there. They're around about there. Yeah, so I've just spotted them in this cloud and they are literally just about level with the top of this cloud here. That shows you how low down they are. Um, so I'm glad I came here a bit earlier because uh, they're quite low down and um, you need to come out early to give yourself a chance. Five o'clock till half five is probably about the peak time to see them. Okay, so I've now come back down again and I've brought all my gear with me, my telescope and I've set it off. I tell you what, it's a real battle in this wind. I just want to show you what I've got set up over here. Check this out. Okay, so um, I've just set up here by this uh, balcony here and I've got my telescope there and uh, <laughs> You might be able to tell the microphone is blowing around a bit. I hope you can hear me because this wind is absolutely shocking. And it's also a lot colder than it was last night. I felt a lot better in that car park. It was it was actually quite mild in there. It's a lot different tonight. Um, I'm actually... I'm just going to show you some video now. You see I've got a telescope there. But it's bouncing about all over the place. I'm going to show you the video now and I'll talk you through what we can see. As you can see... We've got Jupiter and Saturn there, looking closer together now than they were last night. And uh, I'm sorry they're shaking around all over the place, but that's just the way it is. I was hoping that we'd be able to get some detail on, on Saturn, maybe, or, or maybe on Jupiter as well. But the wind is just so much, you just can't keep the telescope still. It's bouncing around all over the place. I'm doing what I can to try and, if I stand in the way of the telescope, in the way of the wind, I might be able to shield it enough so that we can get some fairly still video. I'll just have to try anyway, but as you can see, we've got them. 
and uh, we've also got the moon out as well tonight it's uh, getting a bit brighter now and um, managed to get a picture of it with some air you can see the clouds rolling past the moon there looks pretty awesome that doesn't it oh but i tell you what though this wind is absolutely shocking hey i'll tell you something else as well it's quite busy here on the promenade look at all this traffic it's the illuminations Yeah, so it's a bit of a nightmare. This wind is absolutely horrendous. Uh, I don't, don't know how easy I had it last night in the car park. It was uh, warmer and it wasn't quite as windy. And there's also quite a few clouds around tonight as well. There's quite a few clouds hanging around out there. I don't know if you can see them behind me. There's a few more clouds around and uh, the, the planets keep sort of hiding behind some of the clouds. So anyway, we'll keep trying. I'm not having a very good time at the moment. Um, we've got quite a few clouds around and if you look behind me, you see that light there, this light here? This so happens to be right where the two planets are, literally just above that light there and the glare from that light is causing me all kinds of problems. I can't even see the planets at the moment, even if they were out. So I might need to move a little bit to get away from that light. Okay, so I've just moved the telescope to another position, not far away, but it's made a massive difference. Check this out. So that's where I had the telescope before, looking over there, and all I've done is just moved it over to here, behind this pillar here. And the wind is a whole lot less. I don't know if you can tell, but just looking at that fluffy microphone there, that was bouncing around for fun before, but now it's not too bad. And also this pillar here blocks out that, that um, can you see that light there? If I go over here, now the, the planets are at the moment in a cloud, so when they come back out again, I think I'll have a better chance of getting more stable footage from here. So let's see. waiting for that cloud to move out of the way it's about quarter past five now so it's actually the best time to see them so i hope it doesn't uh, take too long for them to come back out now we're looking it's really wild out there You can see Black Hill Tower up there, lit up all in blue. Okay, so uh, I've started uh, filming them again now. They've come back out again. And uh, I'm just going to put the video on the screen now. So. I think you can tell there that it's a lot more stable than it was before. And unbelievable, I've only moved it a few feet. I think it must be this column here. And uh, yeah, that's a lot more stable now. Now, I've actually seen the rings of Saturn. If I zoom in on the video, I'm not sure now, as I'm filming this here now, whether it's going to pick up on this actual video itself. So we'll just have to see. You'll be able to tell now if it's on the screen. Um, but I've definitely seen, can see the rings of Saturn when I, do, when I, when I zoom in. And I can also see the, the, the equatorial bands on Jupiter as well. So uh, hopefully you can see them now on, on, on this video. Uh, because that was the intention. I wanted to see if I could pick up the rings of Saturn. It's quite difficult when they're low down in the sky because you're having to shoot through a lot more thicker atmosphere and you've also got the, uh, the jet stream and all sorts of turbulence going on up there. So it, it really messes about with the, the detail on, on um, planets when you're looking at them low down. Yeah, so check this out. How about this, way? Eh? Amazing, eh? I'm just playing around with the exposure. Like I say, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to pick up the rings of Saturn or the um, the belts of Jupiter. Or, well, I'll see if I can pick up the moons of Jupiter because I don't think I've done that yet. So I might tweak it a little bit and we'll see if we can pick up the moons of Jupiter. I'll have to overexpose it to do that. But anyway, I'll have a little go at that and we'll see what we can do. 
so uh, I'll just really give it a good tweak there and uh, maybe a bit too much <laughs> hopefully we can see the moons of Jupiter there now uh, yeah so I don't think I've done too bad overall I mean obviously the wind's been a nightmare but looking at them visually the two planets uh, yeah so I don't think I've done too bad really given the conditions I've managed to get video of the two planets uh, I know the wind's been absolutely terrible and um, but I think I've managed to get some detail hopefully you'll be able to tell um, if we've managed to get the detail on the rings of Saturn because that was what I wanted to do and I think I've done that I'm probably going to end it there now and I'll probably show some pictures at the end some stills and hopefully the stills might have a bit more detail than the video but we'll see so anyway if you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again on the next one